Hello everyone, my name is Karen Shanong. I work with the team here at Coda Bears and today we're going to be talking about external BAQs and using them with Epicor 10 10.1. External BAQs, business activity queries, can be used to bring in data from external SQL or other databases into a query or dashboard in Epicor 10.1. For example, you may want to see data from your previous version of Epicor along with your current version data in Epicor. You could also combine data from other third-party data sources with your Epicor data. I will be showing a basic overview, although more complicated queries can be created. Your imagination and your connection options are the limit. So let's get started learning about external BAQs and how you can use them. This slide is an outline of the presentation for today and the following slides will cover each topic in more detail. To get started working with external BAQs in Epicor 10.1, you will need to do some preparation for the ODBC connections unless you can connect to your data source without using an ODBC connection. Next you will go through the menu items for external data sources and external BAQs. You'll enable your data source and then you can start using your data sources in BAQs and dashboards. This screen shows an example of an ODBC connection to an external server. On the server that your current Epicor resides the one that you're going to use to create your external BAQs, you need to set up an ODBC connection and test that the connection is successful. You will need to repeat that for each external data source that you plan to use. Here you can see we made a connection to our Service Connect server and the test completed successfully when we tested the connection. Then you go through each of the menu items in Epicor under the external BAQ area. First we start with the external data source type maintenance. You can give your data source type any name you wish. Choose the application type. Generic and other versions of the Epicor application are the choices offered on the drop down list and then enter a description. From there you can add filters for data in the lower half and schema filters, table and or column filters. Data filtering will be the highest level, for example only show tables for the current company. This filter can be applied to any or all tables in the data source. Next you can use the schema table filter as shown here to limit which tables are available from the external data source. Similarly you can use the columns filtering to determine and limit which columns are available from external data source in your business activity queries. Once you have your data source type set up, open the menu item for external data source maintenance. Here you can enter any name for your data source, any description, and choose the data source type that you created in the previous step. Next choose the ado.net provider from the drop down list for SQL databases choose the one I show here. Then you can configure the connection string by clicking the configure button on the left sc screen and filling in the data source and database name as shown on the right screenshot. Choose the use trusted connection for integrated security or filling in the SQL login and password to figure are not using integrated security. You can then test the connection in either place on the right hand side of the screen or on the left hand side of the screen after you say OK to the right screen and verify that you have a successful connection. This menu item for the external data sources has the ability to export and import data sources also to move them between your environments. External data source metadata. The next menu item we'll look at is the external data source metadata. Here you can search for an already defined data source type, then choose the sample data source for that type from the drop down. Search for and select any or all of the tables that you might want to change or update data columns for this table. 
For example, as shown on the right, you can enter a description, change the field format, enter a field label, which will be displayed on dashboard or business activity query. You can also mark if the field is required and or read only. By default, they are not read only, but I checked them to be read only in this example. Before you can really use your external data sources for business activity queries and dashboards, you must enable your external data source in company maintenance. Once you're in company maintenance, move to the tab that says BAQ external data sources and just a simple check or uncheck here enables or disables the data source after you save your changes. You can also choose to skip security checking for the data source by checking in the lower areas if you had any filter groups or filter definitions you can choose to skip them. When all of your changes have been made click the save button to keep your changes in Epicor. So now you can finally get started using external business activity queries. You get started by opening the external business activity query menu item which is almost exactly the same as the regular business activity query screen. The addition is the area shown highlighted with the red rectangle here. You need to select the external data source from the drop down and then you can also test the connection before getting started. You can then choose the tables, columns, sort order, calculated fields, group by, Use subqueries and so on as you did in regular business activity queries. Once you have some external business activity queries created, you can put them on a dashboard just using the same process you do for other dashboards. Here is an example of a dashboard that shows both an external query, the top portion has the older version of E10 customers and then an internal query which has the 10.1 customer data for just this company. They can both be on the same dashboard. This is just a quick example but it does demonstrate that you could view old data and new data in a single dashboard if you want to. So next we'll review some examples basically those that were shown in the slideshow will show some of the setup in actual Epicor software. Think about other ways to use external BAQs and dashboards. Um, somebody in the live presentation suggested that they used them to update the author of business activity queries. So in Epicor all of these um, menu items that we discussed in the presentation are under system management, external business activity query folder, and then each of the menu items are listed on the right hand side other than the company maintenance where you have to enable your data source. So the external data source type is the first step as we mentioned and you need to create it and choose your application type um, those are the options that are available and most often you'll probably be using the generic one and I put in a description of which version of E10 that we're using. We can also look at data filtering and schema filtering. So in the schema filtering I did limit it to just bring in the customer table. You can just do a new to bring in whatever filtering you want to do. You can also do a similar option for column filtering. Here we'll see our connection for Service Connect and that's my connection to the database and again we can... Anyway here shows our connection to Service Connect and the data filtering. If we wanted to we could add and schema filtering if we wanted to we could add it and I, I did just add um, to bring in one table also on our service connect data source. The next step is the external data source maintenance and here we can see we can name it whatever 
we wanted to and put in our description and then we choose our data source type from the drop down of the ones that we had previously set up. And then we choose our uh, connection string editor, ado.net provider, and here are the options that are shown that you have a choice of. And I use the SQL client for any of the SQL databases. And next we can click on the configure button and choose our data source, our, which is our server, our database name, which database on that server, and then we can choose to use the trusted connection if we want integrated security, or we can choose uncheck that and then put in a login and password for SQL server credentials. As you fill in this information, your connection string is automatically built. So you don't have to type in your connection string. It gets built with the information you provide in the form. And then you can test your connection here. And this shows that our connection is successful since we did set up an ODBC connection for this data source. You can also choose to test your connection here. Same, same thing. And then here we show the setup that we did for the Service Connect server. And again, we have the same provider because it's an SQL database and we're using the um, trusted connection. And here we can show our server name and database name and using the trusted connection again. And test our connection again. So that's not too hard to set up your data sources and data source types. I didn't make any changes, so I'm not going to save it. <clears throat> and next is our data source metadata maintenance. And here we choose by searching for our data source type that we set up previously. And then we have our data source that's basically what we set up in the second step and again you can test your connection here and then you can look at your table list to see what tables were allowed from that data source and then you can also look at your fields and field list and here's where I mentioned that you can change some of the options you can add a description add a field label choose if you want it to be required or read only and so I made all these fields read only from our older version. <clears throat> you can do that for all of your data source types if you'd like. So before moving on to the external business activity query, you need to also go to um, company maintenance and enable the database. Going to the BAQ external data sources tab, and then you can choose which data sources you want to enable. So I have already enabled my E10 server and my SC server. And if we had any filters on them, they could show down below um, what filters are on them. And you can choose to skip the filter if you'd like. But since they're already enabled, we don't need to do that step. I just wanted to show you that. So back at our external business activity query, the last step is actually going to the external business activity query menu item. And here I show the couple of queries that I basically created for these um, external data sources. And you can see it's basically just setting up your tables, what fields to display, if you want to sort order, etc. You can put on criteria. It's very similar to um, what you have in regular business activity queries, other than you need to show your external data source you're choosing. And you can also test your connection here. And then you can go ahead and test your query in the business act 
external business activity query designer just like you could in the regular business activity query designer. I'll just show you the second query that I created which was for our service connect. Again we chose our external data source and we can test the connection and we set up our table, what fields and sort order, what fields and then we can go ahead and test that again. And there's our data with those fields. So the final step we did was creating a dashboard. So this is our dashboard that shows the customers old and new between the old data source and the new data source. If we go ahead and refresh each we can see the results. So we can see the old data source has we allowed all companies and then it shows the customers for each of the company and here um, for Epic 06 we have 45 customers and here in the new data source we have 48 customers so we added a, a couple in version 10.1 but this basically just shows that you can have the old data and the new data on the same dashboard so external data alongside your current Epicor data what a nice option if you need it the next time you open another external database, think about the possibility that it may be able to be brought into Epicor for viewing and or updating. See what external data sources, filters, and external queries you can create in your test, training, or pilot environments and prove they work as you expect before moving them to live. Put them on dashboards there too before moving them to live. Thank you for your time today. Have a good day.